Hey, what's up guys, welcome to today's video, and we're checking out probably one of the best... I would go as far as saying this is probably the best thing from the new DLC update, the Doomsday update. It has to be the Deluxo, or as everybody will remember it, as the Back to the Future car, this bad boy right here. So, it's in single player, if you're wondering. I am in single player, you can spawn it in single player right now. Uh, I did a little bit of a tutorial how to do it in the previous video, if you want to check it out. It's, it's quite simple to do it, uh, you don't have to do too much, and you can play about mods, technically. But here is... The glory of this mod, I get um, not this mod. I keep saying mod. I'm so fixated on mods of this DLC update. It is this bad boy, and uh, god damn, this thing's expensive. Do you know what? this? This thing is really expensive. Let me tell you how expensive this is. I have it written down here in GT Online. Um, if you're if you never really played GT Online, okay, this thing, this thing online, just to buy it costs 3.6 million. And if you don't do the missions, it costs 4.7 million. So it nearly costs 5 million, okay? So by the time you do all the upgrades and stuff, let's say let's say you paid maximum price, which probably could be upwards of 5 million. That's insanely expensive. This car nearly costs about 35 pounds, <laughs> which is insane. This car costs about 35 pounds. Which is crazy. So what would I mean by it? You might be like, what, what, what do you mean, Alanim? Why does this car cost 35 pounds? So in-game currency, 8 million pounds costs about 59 pounds. Uh, I think 3 million pound, three million in-game currency costs about 30 pounds, I think it was, or something. So if this costs about 5 million, it's roughly around that price. It's maybe close to 40 pounds. This is crazy. Uh, so if you've bought this, you pretty much spend 40 quid on it, which is crazy, for a car in-game that can fly. You paid 40 pounds. Yikes. Anyway, though, we're not going to look at the pressing stuff. We're going to look at the cool stuff. So you're probably wondering, oh, cool, it's in single player. I bet it doesn't fly. Well, well, my friend, you're about to be very, very, very impressed with this. Everything works here, and also... As you can, as, as you're gonna see, if you press X, if you press, okay, we don't press X. Oh, okay, we do press X. Here we go, boys. Look at this. It works. Like I said, this sucker works. And it's, I'll be honest, it handles really weird on keyboard. It just handles gross on keyboard. I don't know what it is. It might be just because it's like a, technically a flying object now. It handles really rough on the keyboard. You can tell that this was kind of more designed for um, the controller. It handles really badly, so I'm, I'm going to use my controller. So I, ha I do have an Xbox controller connected. And with the controller, it handles really good. A controller, it handles really nice. You can kind of drive it a lot better and do some more agile movements. But that might just be because, you know, keyboard driving is actually pretty garbage in, 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 in um, GTA. You can kind of tell when somebody's using a keyboard. Or if somebody's using a controller. Now, I kind of want to fly over here to check something out to see if it works. I'm trying to find a a water area here. If I could get to one. Uh, also, if you're wondering, we can actually we can actually fly here as well. So that's that's something we can do. Look at this. Uh, if you were wondering, you know, like, like can you fly? Yeah, everything works in single player. This is pretty cool. I mean. And I didn't pay 40 pounds for it, so I, I am very happy. Very happy. So, I want to see if I can do this. So, the way I do this, can I, will I go underwater or will I float? I'm kind of interested in here. Oh, no, we're good. Okay. Yeah, no, we're floating above water. That's, so that's pretty cool. So, every single feature works. Can I shoot? I'm trying to figure out if I can. Can I... Maybe I have to. Uh, maybe maybe the weapons don't work. Maybe the weapons don't work. This is pretty cool. So the way you just fly is you just push up on your on your controller. You're just like yeah, I want to fly now and push up. Pretty sick. Quite impressive here. So if you wanted to have fun with this in single player, I'd very very much advise it to you guys. Don't spend forty quid. On this, um, I mean, 
go ahead, it's your money. <laughs> I'm not going to stop you, I guess, but... Guys, you can get this to work in single player, and you can have all the fun you want to have. I mean, I guess you want... I guess you can't show it to your friends and be like, Hey, look what look what I spent 40 quid on. But then all your other friends will be like, Well, we got 40 quid to do cool stuff. Where's your 40 quid? Oh, wait. I want to kind of help this chick. Can I... Oh, wait, he stole a car. Can I... Can I help her? I mean, I kind of don't want to break my door in here. Uh, I mean, he's probably... Oh, my God, there's a flying car! This is... Does anybody else have, like, a Saints Row vibe to this? This is pretty insane. This is... This is such a far fledge from what GTA used to be. GTA San Andreas was a game where it was about gangsters, turf war, things like that. Now, I have a flying goddamn car. <laughs> what has happened to this game? What has happened? So, uh, let's just go to... Um, Let's fly over to one of the LA Customs here and see what we can do. I mean, this has to be the coolest um, coolest car now in the game, uh, surely. Uh, I kind of want to fix it up a little bit. I, I have taken a bit more damage here, which isn't what I wanted to do here. So let's go fix it up uh, and, and check it out. Now, we might have to fly this in nighttime, which might suck a little bit. Uh, because I can't change the time to daytime. I can't keep the time. Like I said, none of the menus work that I use. So... It has natural time that goes by in the game, which kind of sucks because it is often nighttime. Um, so I'm try I'll, I'll try to be quick here. Hopefully, well, I mean the car makes a lot of light, so we should be able to see it. So it shouldn't be too dark. Hopefully, so actually I'm gonna go take it. I'm gonna go take it to this other car shop over here because we can take not better screenshots over there. Uh, I'm, what I mean by that is thumbnails. We can take a little bit nicer thumbnails, I guess. So we're gonna go over there, I think. I like this car. I'm interested in seeing what upgrades we can do uh, at the LA Customs. Uh, I don't think we can upgrade like the weapons for it. That's maybe the only thing. I'm sure with mods, once mods are actually active, we will be able to do it and make sure this car has weapons. But I think you might need one of those like um, mobilized center things, whatever they're called, like uh, operation center or something. I think they're called. I, I'm not too sure what the what the name for it is, but uh, you know. Uh, uh, you know what I mean, so let's just land here, and perfect, very nice. So let's take this in, see what we can do to this bad boy, bam. So it's a sports classic as well, okay, cool, sports classic. Let's fix this bad boy, so it looks like we can do a couple of things, which is pretty cool. Armor, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upgrade everything on maximum here, so we can kind of see the full potential. I'm interested, I'm interested in seeing if, like, the engine I improves, like, the flying speed or anything like that. I wonder if that does. Uh, we can change the exhausts here. I kind of like this one. We'll go with the large double exhausts. Front bumper as well. We can change that, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'll go with this one. The, the dropped combination a spoiler. Very nice. We'll go with that one. Grill as well. We can change the grill. <gasps> we can change the grill. Nice. Um, I'll go with... Uh, I'll kind of go with this one. The last one. I'll like that one. We'll just go with that one. Here as well. You can change a couple of things. Uh, I'll go with the race vents. Uh, you know, mix it up a little bit. Lights. Uh, I'm gonna change it to the neon kits. Or do it? No, actually, I don't want a neon. Do I want a neon? Uh, no, we won't do it. I'll use the. I won't do a neon just in case it makes it look really gross. And I kind of want the um, metallic. We gotta go with the. Uh, gotta go here. Wait, is it two colors? Oh, it is. Do I want to go with the classic look, or do I want to like just mix it up because everybody's going to go with the classic look? Um, should we just do hot pink, just to be a hipster? <laughs> God, I'm sorry, guys. Don't hate me, okay? Just don't, don't hate, don't hate a brother, okay? Some people would really like this, okay? So let's. Oh God, let's see what we can do here. We can change that to hot pink as well. Yeah, let's do hot pink there. Spoiler. Ooh, we can change. We can actually add a spoiler to this. Wow. The last one looks extremely gross. Uh, I'm gonna go with the flash mount spoiler. That looks pretty good. We're gonna go with that one. Transmission. Let's upgrade that as well. Uh, turbo. Sure. Why not? Wheels. I'm gonna keep the same wheels, windows, and everything. You can keep. Okay. That. I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I've completely ruined it. But I kind of. That's what I kind of wanted to do. 
Because I don't think anybody else is going to do it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, it looks disgusting. Exactly what I wanted. So let's take it for a fly. Watch out. The midnight hot pink is out on flying. All right, this, this thing over here. Look at this thing. How ridiculous is this? Whoa, Jesus Christ, acceleration's improved on this thing. Holy cow. Oh my god, this thing's actually really quick now. But when you just get this car, when I spawned it in, it was really sluggish when you drove. It didn't feel fast at all, but now when you're driving, it's pretty fast. So what happens if I go into hover mode? I think the hover mode's improved as well. At least it feels like it. What about flying? Did flying improve? Oh, go, 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 lift! Jesus Christ. So I think it might have improved too. Maybe not the flying. It's kind of hard to tell. Like I said, I can't really do like proper tests. I can't like test this top speed before and then test the top speed after because none of the tools work, which kind of sucks. But we can later on. I'm interested in if it did, if it did or not. Uh, maybe somebody else knows. I'm sure maybe some people probably have done some tests on on uh, on on the machines. I'm sure there's a way of doing it already. I'm just not smart enough to do it. But it definitely feels faster in the hover mode. So if you just like kind of go go lower, right? It feels really quick in this. Like this this feels like it got affected by the uh, engine and transmission. But I could just be that could just be me thinking it did. It might not actually have driving 100% though. Driving 100% has it really has. So you know what would be interested? I wonder if you could have like a script that changes all the police cars to be these DeLoreans just flying after you. So if you have a police chase and you start flying, there's like police DeLoreans just chasing after you. I think that'd be super epic. I don't know if it, anybody could do that. I thought that'd be freaking hilarious. If you're trying to escape and all of a sudden there's a bunch of DeLoreans following you. And then if you're trying to fly away, they can do the same thing and like keep following you and just have an epic police chase with the flying DeLoreans. That'd be freaking awesome. Uh, I'd like to see something like that. Ho hopefully somebody does that because that'd be freaking great. So let me know what you. Ooh, easy, easy. I don't want to hit any lampposts. Let me know what you think, guys. Like I said, you can get it working in single player. All you got to do is just download a few things and uh, you're good to go. The interior looks pretty much exactly the same. It doesn't really look like it's changed. I mean, first person flying is a little bit trippy. I definitely like flying in this mode. It feels good in this one. It's kind of weird seeing a pink. DeLorean just flying around. Awesome, though. I'm in a pink DeLorean in single player. I never thought I'd see this. This is so cool. I mean, we technically had some DeLoreans already as mods, and you can kind of technically fly them, but none, they weren't as obviously as smooth as this, so it's quite cool that they did this, but this is meant to be GTA. The hell has happened to this game? Pretty guy named Cool. I like it. <laughs> this is epic. This is so cool. I like the, I like how cool it looks just flying through the front line through the uh, kind of buildings, especially at night. It looks really, really nice. It definitely is. A, this has to be one of the f my favorite ones. I still get to try the um, the jetpack, but I, will I like it more than this? I don't know. I don't know. This, would, this, this thing would be really good in the zombie apocalypse, let me tell you that. Zombie apocalypse, the DeLorean would be probably the best thing, because you could just easily go wherever you want, you know what I mean? You want to fly somewhere? Sure. Zombie outbreak? That's not going to stop you. You can just fly away, dude. You don't need to do anything. Looks great. Guys, let me know what you think. I kind of want to try one thing. See how far you can go up. Can, is there a limit or anything like that? I'm sure there is. There's probably just like the sky limit, but what if you had no boundaries limit on? Can you just fly forever? And one no thing I've noticed is you definitely can't go as high as you can as a, as a, as a jet. Uh, you go at a much, much, much less of an angle up. Uh, as a jet, you can kind of just like fly up near enough, but this, not really. So one thing I want to see what actually happens is what if I just, uh, what if our power just goes? You know, we're back into a normal car. Look at this. <laughs> Cover banger, dude, and then. Oh, we're back into a plane. That is really cool. You can just quickly kind of change between them. They've really done a good job on this. Quickly change back. And, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, I saved it. We didn't die. That was quite cool. 
as you can see guys you can have a ton of fun with this uh, i'm sure you can have a lot of fun with this online as well but is it 40 quid worth of fun i'll, I'll leave that up to you guys uh, let me know what you think i'd recommend just downloading this in single player and messing around with it as much as you want guys uh but i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching thank you for joining if you did enjoy this make sure you leave a like click share because it does help my channel grow appreciate love and support i'll see your faces next time and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it bye